Turning now to what's happening this weekend in our area, Ashley Erling is live right now in Providence with a look at today's Pride Fest. Thousands are expected to gather in the capital city to celebrate the LGBTQ plus community with one Broadway superstar headlining the festivities. Ashley Erling is here now with a look at what's planned. Ashley. Hey guys, good morning. Yes, thousands are expected to come down here and there are probably hundreds already down here setting up for the big day. And I am here with Kate Montero from Rhode Island Pride to tell us a little bit more about everything that's been going on today. But what has led us up to this? Good morning. Good morning. Well, Rhode Island Pride has been a fixture in the state of Rhode Island since 1976. The first time we held a Pride, we uh, needed to sue in federal court mm -hmm. to get the permit to uh, march in the streets of Providence tonight. Then there were 75 people. Tonight there will be tens of thousands of people as they are every Pride night, rain or shine. Absolutely. We were talking about it. You know, it's amazing to see how much this event has grown here in our state. 75 people when it started. Now we're talking about thousands of people from the state coming out looking forward to this every year. Let's talk a little bit about the growth there. I mean, that's pretty incredible. It is. And we've grown steadily over the years, uh, but it it helps, I think, a little bit that uh, Rhode Island Pride has been named by some um, some magazines, including National Geographic, uh, including Newsweek, as uh, one of the top prides, not in the United States, but in the world. That's unbelievable. I mean, let's think about that for a minute. That is so unbelievable, the entire world. What do you think it is about this festival, this group of people that makes it so recognizable? I think one of the reasons why people love Rhode Island Pride, both Rhode Islanders and people from other places is that it's a real community event. Mm -hmm. uh, Rhode Island Pride is a Rhode Island nonprofit. We have been here for almost 50 years. All of our vendors are primarily local people, um, and it's local people who are marching. We are a community, and uh, there are a lot of people in the United States who don't have this kind of community. And so if they come to visit here, they become Rhode Islanders. And it is raining, but that doesn't matter. This is a fun day. Everyone, I don't think that it will dampen anyone's spirits at all because people are already out here in droves. Absolutely not. The colors of the rainbow never melt in the rain. So we are here. Lots of us will be here all day long. We're working really hard. You can see mm -hmm. we've, uh, we've been taking on some showers this morning, but that's okay. Come in your rain gear. Come be proud, come and celebrate yourself, come and celebrate your friends and your neighbors and your loved ones, and just be part of a historic event that luckily happens every, the third Saturday in June in the state of Rhode Island. Absolutely, I couldn't have said it better. Thank you so much, Kate, you heard her. Come on out, now it is raining. We already talked about it, Stephen, but I'm gonna tell you this, it's not really cold. It's pretty comfortable out here, so, all you really have to do is bring a raincoat or an umbrella or something like that, and I think you'll be fine, Stephen. 